welcome to KM TV, Kwamina TV, your youngest old boy in town. Today, we are going to talk about why our people don't patronize in our own goods, why Africans are dying before their age, about Ghana independent, and why our youths are traveling behind the door. Let me put it this way, African youth are traveling outside the country thinking that's the only place they can make it. And I met a man who have a lot of ideas about this, whose philosophy will change your perception of thinking. Not to waste time, let's go and speak to this man, Mr. Boache Yabua Samuel. emancipation to move about is physically uh, something we can cherish and uh, uh, we are able to manage we are allowed to manage our own affairs without any foreign, foreign interruption however however we are still struggling regardless of the independence that we have and this has to do with mental slavery and then most people in the country are taking much interest in foreign products against our domestic Local products, locally products. Pro see, products. Sir, yes, sir. this is why yes. Kwaminan TV yes. is there. Okay. That is why I would like everyone to subscribe yes. into Kwaminan TV. Yes. We are here in Ghana. I started yes. that in Europe, okay. promoting every business from Africans, from Africans. Yes. I'm not being racist, yes. but from Africans, also yes. from my own. Yes. So I done a bit, then I'm now in Ghana, and that Ghana is my home. Okay. Sunyana is one of the beautiful cities in the country. city in the country. Yes. I have to come here and do something. So what you are saying is very interesting. Yes. People would love to go and even Sometimes, even today, they want to get it from outside. But we have a he said, I want you to keep telling people why. Explain it to them why I move like that. Uh, it's just unfortunate. It's just a mindset thinking that whatever we have is no good. But what somebody has is better than what we have. Why is it that? The reason is that it's lack of confidence in ourselves. Confidence in ourselves. And somewhere along the line, most people are not assertive, not assertive, and most people are unable to uh, implement the knowledge they have acquired. So you realize that deep education has eluded a lot of people, right? And lack of creativity is another thing, lack of creativity. And another problem we have is that we have people in the country some of them will criticize unconstructively. And this without any reason. Without any reason. When you are so assertive, well empowered, you are reduced to nothing. And sometimes you we suffer from mendacities. When mendacities. I talk about uh, mendacious attitudes. Where truth is not promoted. See, truth is not promoted, but lies are promoted in the country. In the country, and people like Africa. lies in Africa, Ghana inclusive. Ghana inclusive. And he who stands to say the truth becomes the foe or enemy of many people. You understand? So not until we change some of these things, some of these habits, we change our mindset and pursue 
things that can empower us. You look around you, somebody may have a house. He lays the payment blocks, and this person will leave the house because there's payment blocks. He cannot plant cocoa yam to get control brick from his own house. From his own house. Plus, if you throw it on the ground, it will just generate. You understand? So, this is one of the fundamental problems. We must domesticate and you see, pursue domestication. We must plant uh, three crops like mangoes, avocado, avocados, you yeah, see, yeah, guava, yeah, apples, apple, and water. Apples are you see, difficult to yeah, yeah. grow here. But like aluminum to be that yeah, yeah. apple. Source of so so that source of yeah. we need to yeah. grow all these things. And around us, you can even wear snails, snails, yeah. not snakes, yeah. snails. Snails. Now how yeah. then and we can feed them and we feed them with the purpose we the purpose we have. Mm -hmm. Do you understand? Yeah. So that around us, we farm around us. And then benefit from nature. And then kill stress. Kill stress. Yeah. Do you understand? So if we do that, then we will enjoy longevity. We will be able to elongate our life. And then live in happiness. Sir, please. There's something that I have noticed in black community. If I say black communities in the whole Africa, yeah. but I live in uh, uh, outside the country, yeah. and I see my community, when I come back to Ghana, it's almost the same. Yeah. People are dying before their age. And you know, the last time, the reason why I'm, I mentioned this is the last time I saw a 34 year yeah, boy having an attack or pressure to kill. I don't understand it. So, you as a Educated than we. Can you tell us a bit, or do you have knowledge about why? Uh, I think, in your uh, own way, sir. I think the fundamental problem we have is to do with our dieting. Food, the, the, the kind of food we eat, is one major problem. For me, I detest when I see people eating indomie, indomie, oh, yes. monosodium. It is not good, and these are imported into the country. Yeah. See, at the expense of the plantain we have, the yams we have, and not until we change this attitude, this mindset that whatever comes from outside is better than what is within, we continue to die prematurely. So if you have come by people dying prematurely, it's, it's as a result of the kind of food sometimes they eat. And then also, people rushing to enrich themselves uh, in the twinkling of an eye. Okay, the youth, the youth. So this is another problem. And then also, I think people don't want to uh, have enough rest for themselves, and then reflect over their lives. Okay, when you don't do that, it's like always you're being pursued. By somebody, so and the, yeah, that's right. The person who's pursuing you, see, eventually, all you allow pressure to mount on you to take away your pleasure in life. So, if you don't have pleasure in life, and you are pressurized by the things around you, which, for one or two reasons, you have not reached the stage to afford them, material, things. material things, then you put yourself in danger, in danger. and you can die prematurely. The resistance and another problem I think we have is that when you look at watch our television, yeah, the channels, you come by somebody who says that I can give you, I can double your money, give you bring five hundred, and I'll make and I'll, five billion, and that is too bad. And another problem is our uh, religious practices, where in the twinkle of an eye, somebody comes up that I'm a prophet. A prophet who will peddle lies. Okay? Yes, you amass wealth. Okay? From people who are vulnerable. And those who are vulnerable are not prepared to study. And when you share something important with them, they ridicule you. So the problem is most people are not prepared to study, to learn new things, and change their habits. And now come to think of the youth. See, the social media. The WhatsApp, the, ta the Tango, the Viber, the Instagram, the Twitter, and what have you? 
instead of them using it to study, to using what we call the internet to research and discover new knowledge and confirm existing knowledge they have. They don't do that. They squander their energy, their time on WhatsApp, on social media. In the long run, will not help us to develop. So not until we change these attitudes and mindsets, we continue to uh, dwarf our development. We yes, continue sir. to dwarf our dwarf development. In our development. Sir, yes, sir. there's one thing I want to ask. What advice will you give it to our youth who go behind doors, back doors to Europe? Our young African kids, I mean the ladies, yes. who travel to Middle East yes. just before Christmas or something like that. I had Canada, Japan pay yes. and a huge sum of money yes. to go and bring mm -hmm. some of them to. What advice do you have for them? Uh, uh, I will advise them to desist from such pursuit because I'm paying for a research in your dad. And if you live in your country and then you engage yourself in an in a, in a economic activity, at all costs you'll be able to generate something. And I pray also that our system should be made in such a way that the locally manufactured, the locally produced goods will be patronized. That's another question. I'm interested at why is it that we Africa? Not only Ghana, yes. that's why I say Africa. Why we don't patronize our own products? Yes, uh, I think the problem has to do with the way and manner we promote the things we have. So lack of promotion. And we don't advertise most of the things we have. Okay. And then the marketing structure is we employ to uh, expose the things we have. Fundamentally, this has become a problem. And sometimes the diction we use, okay, normally when you want to promote the goods that you have, you must package your information in such a way that it can attract people, people or magnetize people locally and internationally. You understand? And then you must have adequate knowledge about the product you are advertising. If you are uh, deficient, deficient of the goods you have produced or manufactured, then you cannot promote it. Because so, you yourself don't believe in it. Don't believe in it. What you have. What you have. Yeah. What you have. So that's a, what we call self confidence. Lack of confidence. Lack of confidence. And then talk about you know, lack of assertiveness. So this obviously is killing us gradually. So I pray that all blacks have confidence in ourselves and tell ourselves, accept ourselves, and then appreciate ourselves that we are the best, we have the best. Okay, and if you do that, in the long run, you'll be able to promote the things you have and promote ourselves. Last two years, yes. that is 2019, yes. was a year of return. Okay. A lot of our brothers and sisters who were taken by force yes. or were taken without their knowledge, it's over there, almost about 600 and um, 402 years ago, a lot of them came. What advice will you have for the rest that haven't been to Africa before? Yes. And those who have been here and they want to go back, what advice do you have for them? Do you want them to come back home? Uh, now, sometimes when you settle at a place for a long time, 400, 400 and so years, years you see, to move finally back home, Will create certain problems, but from time to time they can base it home, okay, and then contribute their quota to the country of their origin. You see, but I will encourage them to remain there, uh, work so hard, okay, strategically hard. But if some will want to settle here, see, out of choice, we will, you know, embrace them, we welcome them home. You see, but they must make sure before they settle here, they are fixed all the economic and then the, uh, they have created things for themselves, something that can promote their 
uh, existence here. here. They are staying here. Put that way. Because there's no social assistance. So, yes, yes. There's no to, for them to, for them to, to benefit. benefit. Yeah. Yeah. So they must come with their own resources. Um, we have abundance. You know, uh, we have a lot of land here. Okay. They can come, acquire some, and develop themselves. Uh, and farm for and farm for themselves. A lot of people that I know. I was in a certain meeting on such match in Accra. Yeah, okay. And a lot of them that I know want them to come back to this and stay. But they are having problems of we, the indigenous, the we, the, the people who are here who haven't been taken away. Yes. A lot of people are having problems. Most of them are like, uh, talking about acceptance of them. Acceptance is one of it. Mm. Two, land acquiring. Is one of it. Uh, you know the way land issues in uh, Akai, where the most of the people are settled here, yes. want to settle in yes. But some of them are also here helping even the indigenous. Yes. Those who are not here, some of them have um, um, charity organizations. Yes. And those people, they mean to stay here. Yes. What do you want to tell them? We need to conduct uh, an intensive research. research. Uh, because we can't just come. The desire is there. But the point is that it's a system. Ghana has a system. So where they are coming from also uh, have, their own have their own system. But as to how they can get acclimatized here depends on many factors. See, and the government will have to come in, see, try to get uh, consultants who will go in to uh, for you know what we call uh, research outcomes or research fundings and then share the findings with those who want to come and, ask to, and say ask whether say naturally when you want to settle a place for, for the first time frustrations are likely to be encountered automatically that's one of the challenges the challenges but if uh, proper research is conducted and be able to come by certain findings and then uh, formulate relevant recommendations you will be able to address certain problems likely to be encountered by people who want to resettle thank you very much you're sir. welcome thank you yeah, and i'm thank very you. glad to meet you just around the corner thank you sir. and you having time for me yes. I mean, to come on my program yes. to, to, to educate ourselves, yes. educate our brothers, and educate the whole Africa. Thank you. Thank you, and Mr. Mwachi Yabua. And Mr. Mwachi Yabua is on my program. Yes. We just met him accidentally. He has, he has patient and time for me because, for we all, because he won Africa. Mr. I also thank you so much for giving me this audience. And I pray that you are reaching the mission to accomplish to promote Africa, Africa. and then Africa. try to clear off the mental slavery majority of people have, thinking that what we have is not good, but what comes from somewhere is better. So thank you so much. Thank you, sir. God bless you. Thank you. God bless you. Bye. 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 Bye.